God bless you. We bless the rhythm of God. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Ministries, and I'm here with my wife, Pastor Funke. This is Changing the Unchangeable, where God will rock wonders and miracles and change the unchangeable even in your lives in Jesus' name. Tonight is your night. We believe tonight the King of Glory, yes. He will meet you at the very point of your need. Oh, yes. Whatever is challenging your faith, tonight is your night of miracle. Yes. Tonight is the Lord, He cannot change, but you know what? He will change, change. every situation mm. for the best. Yes. Tonight is your night of visitation. Yeah. Watch, Watch this. this. Hello, God bless you. This is Changing the Unchangeable where God himself wrought wonders and miracles even in your lives and in your destiny. This is a program where God touches, changes, and transforms your life and leaves you with a great testimony. Amen. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Ministries, and I'm here with my wife, Pastor Funke. God bless you. Believe this very moment, the mighty God, the able God, yes. the King of glory, the one who can change the unchangeable, is going to visit you wherever you are right now, because the King of Glory is doing great and mighty things right now. And we know that this hour is your hour of encounter with heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We bless thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise, glory, honor, marvelous King. Accept our thanks in Jesus' Amen. name. Mighty Father, El Shaddai, Jehovah, I said, what is coming forth into every home, every house, my Father? Bless all the hearers and viewers in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare, we decree that our lives will be transformed, touched, and changed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You begin to prove yourself even in their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mighty Father, El Shaddai, Jehovah, we cover the airways with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Have your way. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This day we'll be taking a reading from Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. Isaiah 45, from verses 1 to 3. It says, Thus saith the Lord to his anointed disciples, whose right hand are holding to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the lines of kings to open before him the two eleven gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the great places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and eating riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by my name, I am the God of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This week we are continuing this, we are, we are studying uh, we are studying this topic which is arise and shine. Arise and shine. When we say arise and shine, it means that you come to notice. You yes. get up and come to notice. Amen. That is, that thing that God has for you, that position, that post, that is, you occupy your post. Amen. You occupy your position. You occupy that which God has for you. You get up and excel. You get up and succeed. You get up and come out and begin to fulfill your destiny. You know, as you are watching us, you know, you have a destiny. You carry a destiny and you have a destiny. And what I'm talking about is you arise and shine and make sure you achieve your destiny. Amen. It's the time for you to arise and shine. You need to get up and be manifested to your world. Mm. The time for you to, to become known to your world has come. And that's why we have come to tell you this moment that arise and shine. Begin to achieve your destiny. Isaiah 61 says, arise and shine for your light has come. come. We have come to tell you that your light has come and begin to arise in that light that has come for you to fulfill your destiny. From this moment, begin to excel, begin to arise, begin to shine, begin to come, become a sign to your world. Amen. And you know what? God will work wonders and miracles even in your life. Arise and shine, and the Lord will prove himself even in your lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. From there, we read in Isaiah 45, from verses 1 to 3, it says, God will hold your hand, and you will subdue nations. Yes. That is, you will be victorious. Do you know that this king of glory, this man of God, oh, yes. he wants you to arise and, and shine. shine? And how are you going to arise and shine? You will hold your hand and you will be victorious this year. <coughs> That's why having at the back.
back of your mind that it's your season to arise and shine. It doesn't matter about past failures. Forget about yesterday. This is a new day. This is a new season. This is your time to arise and shine. shine. And the man of God, the one who watches over his words performing, he has promised to hold your hand and that you will subdue nations. That is why whatever believe God for your life because this very moment, the man of God, the evil God, yes. the king of glory, oh, yes. the great I am, mm. the only one of Israel, yes. he will uphold your hand. He will raise your hand. Yes. If man will raise your hand, man will disappoint you because man is limited. But when the king of glory, when the great I am, yes. when the only one of Israel, when he, uh, when he will raise your hand, do you know when God will raise a man's hand, that man will become the envy of men. Oh, That's yes. why I've come to announce you that this year, this moment, this month, this week, this hour, oh, you yes. will arise and, and you will shine. shine. Because the man of God, he will uphold your hand. He will raise up your hand. He will raise you up and you shall live a life of victory in the name of Jesus. Arise and begin to shine in Jesus' name. We are talking to you. Arise yes. and shine. You've been sitting there for too long. Yes. And you know God has put everything in order for you. Yes. To step in and begin to arise and begin to shine. Yes. And you know what? This is your moment to arise and shine. shine. And I'm telling you the steps you need to take to arise and shine. Because your destiny is waiting for you to fulfill it. Yes. You have been crying out for so long. Your destiny has been screaming, has been shouting. Say, look, get up. Let us arise and shine. Because your destiny is crying for mm. fulfillment. You know you carry a destiny. I know what, as you begin to step into your destiny, you know what, you begin to arise Man, and shine. shine. Watch again, did God say mm. he will do for you so that you can arise and shine? He says he will open the doors for you. Yes. You know, because before you can arise and shine, there are some doors you need to pass through. Mm. There are some doors you need to walk through. There are some doors that will open more doors for you. Because mm. the word of God says that, Jesus says that I am the one who opens and no, no one can shut. So Jesus is about, he has even opened those doors for you. Mm. And what you need to do is to arise and shine and move through those doors. Amen. That when you arise and you go through those doors, then the end result is that you would shine. Amen. The Lord says he has opened the doors for, for you. you. You see, you are in this nation. You know what he has done for you? He has opened the doors of this nation for you. All you need to do is go through the door and begin to arise and shine. He has opened the doors of mm. business for you. He has opened the doors of marriage for you. Mm. He has opened the doors of peace for you. He has opened mm. the doors of joy for you. He has opened the doors of happiness for you. He has opened the doors of progress for you. Mm. All you need to do is to arise and shine. shine. We are talking to you, to, for you to arise and shine. When you look around you, there are many open doors mm. around you. Which ones have you made use of? Which ones have you gone through? Which one have you gone through to mm. arise and shine? Begin to arise and shine. Begin to open your eyes and realize that these doors are open for you and then you will begin to arise and shine. I know the interesting thing is that no one can shut this door. Amen. The door that the Lord has opened, no one can shut it. The only one, the only person that can close it is you. Mm. And if you fail to arise and shine. But the moment you arise and you go to those doors, you know what will happen to you? You begin to arise and Amen. shine. Your moment to arise and shine has come and begin to arise and shine in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have come to announce you that yes. this is your season yes. to come into notice. This is your season to excel. Yes. This is your season to go to the next level. Yes. This is your season to what God has called you to be. And that's why we have come to tell you it is time to arise and shine. That's same in Isaiah 45. He says that God will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. God will go before you and make the crooked places straight. So that means whatever you are believing God for, it doesn't matter what has happened in the past. Yes, there are past failures. Things have happened in the past, but we have good news for you. We have a God who can go before you, who can make crooked places straight. We have a God who is called the great I am. We have a God who is called the man of God. We have a God who cannot fail. We have a God who cannot lie. We have a God that he yes. will go before you. Yes. Because when God will go before, before you, you, he will make the crooked places. Straight. He will make it straight. Mm. When Jehovah, the man of God, the king of glory, the only one of Israel, when he will go before you, nothing can stand in your way up. Oh, yes. Bible says, he will go before you and he will make the places. Straight. He will make 
straight. straight. Do you know why God will do that this year? Because it is your turn, it is your season to arise and, and to, to shine. shine. That is why whatever failure you have experienced in the past, that is not the end of your life. You know what? Jehovah Lord is supposed to do something unusual, something unique, something that's ordinary in your life. And that is why this year is the year that Jehovah Lord before you and it will make the great places. It will make it straight. And you know what? This year, he will go before you. He will make a way for you. Even where there is no way. And that's why I've come to announce to you that it's your season. It is your time to arise and shine. And as you begin to arise and shine, you begin to feel your destiny in the name of Jesus. Arise and shine in Jesus' name. Arise and shine. And this is going to work wonders and miracles even in your life. You Amen. see, our God is a loving father. Yes. He has made every provision yes. for us to arise and, and shine. shine. And that is why it's called arising and shining. Yes. No, God has made every provision for us to shine. Mm. That's what he has done. He has made every provision for us to shine. Yes. The arising part of it is what you and I need to do. Yes. So when we arise, we will shine. Yes. So many people are saying that, oh, I see my destiny. It's mm. very bright. But they are not arising. That's why they are still in the same, same place. place. But the moment you arise, mm. and then you begin to shine as mm. God wants you to shine. Amen. What again did the Lord say he will do in the book of Isaiah 45, 1 to 3? He says he will, he will put, he will break up the pieces of gates of brass. He will break it up. You see, all the gates of brass yes. standing in your the way. way. Mm. All the all the bars of iron mm. standing in your way. Yes. The Lord says he will put them asunder Asund and break them. Amen. That is every barrier. Mm. Every blockage, yes. every hindrance, yes. every limitation. Yes. The Lord has made provision already mm. before you are even born. Yes. And he says he will break them asunder and put them asunder. Mm. He said he will break the brass of iron and break the gates of iron. Amen. He will say, anything that is like a barrier before you has already been taken care of. Hallelujah. Is there a limitation in your life? Don't let that stop you from arising. Mm. Is there a blockage in your life? Don't let that debar you from rising. Because when you arise, you will shine. Many people give excuses. They give reasons for not arising. Mm. Oh, because I don't have papers. That should not stop you from arising. No. Oh, because I'm not married. That should not stop you from arising. Mm -hmm. Oh, because I don't have a child. That should mm. not stop you from arising. Oh, because I don't have a job. That should not stop you from arising. The Bible says, God says, he will put asunder the gates of, of, of brass and will break and pull down the bars of 